Tip number one is line width. What I like to do when there are lines underneath overhead structures like trees is actually change the line width. When we come in here, we can see how messy things get. It's very busy. There's a lot of lines, a lot of things going on. So something that will help visually is to change anything that is underneath the trees. Right now, I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna erase these and redraw them in a much thinner line weight. But normally, I would have done this um, originally as I'm drawing. Tip number two, maybe my favorite one actually, and that is shadows. Now my piece of advice is to make your shadows a lot deeper and a lot darker than you think. I'm gonna put them on their own layer so that I can manipulate them however I want. The highlighter brush is actually my favorite. I'm gonna use it on this drawing and I'm gonna have the black selected instead of the gray. So starting with this one, and I have my smoothness about halfway. You can see it gets really smooth and it's really easy to draw with. What I really like is also the tapered edge that it comes with. see the difference it makes in how it looks not even close to complete here and as you turn your shadows back on it starts to bring a little bit more life to the drawing so Tip number three is actually the opposite of shadows, and that is the highlights. One of my favorite things is to bring in a really thin white marker pen and add some highlights wherever the sun is gonna be hitting these trees. Tip number four is all about layer control. One of the things I like the most about Morfolio is actually how easy it is to create layers and manipulate them after you've done that. You can see all the different options down here. The one that I use the most by far is the drawing opacity. Another reason you've seen me create so many layers for every little thing that I've put on this drawing is because I really like to be able to go back and turn off layers particularly color layers, and have a blank canvas. I can essentially create a new layer and redo this and compare my different coloring styles. Final tip is actually gonna bring us outside of the normal workflow just a little bit. My favorite feature in Morfolio is the 3D modeling feature. It helps me take my ideas from a concept to a schematic or a finished plan. 
because it helps me see how realistic my drawings actually are. These are modeled to scale and so I can go in there and draw my people, draw my trees, my plants, my buildings, and I have a better understanding of what the spaces will look like. Done, and it's gonna create my Morfolio Trace drawing right here. Now obviously this is just a quick simple sketch, but you can see how it really starts to bring the design to life and you can see where people might sit, meander. It's a great sales tool to show your client what the space feels like very quickly. And as you can see, it's another easy way to get some quick plans out of the way, plan views, and all sorts of different angles.